what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial. I am your hostess, Sarah Michaels here. And in this video, um, I want to show you how you can kind of like customize your Wix blog page just a little bit. I happen to be um, working on a client site right now. Um, and what I want to show you is, so for example, if you want to have like a section um, where you can link like you want to like create, I don't even know what to call this, but you want to create this like landing page where you can link to different topics or categories on the blog. This will be for you. Okay. And what I mean by that is, you know how sometimes when you go to like some blogs, um, they're separated by, you know, like different categories, obviously I just said that, <laughs> but um, it can be really helpful and really fun sometimes, you know, to have like these different images that then, you know, it's like recipes or fitness, lifestyle, reviews, whatever. Um, so this client happens to be, she's actually a rocket scientist, um, which is really cool. She's awesome. And she has a business on the side, which is really cool. And so that's why she hired me. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm, um, I kind of created this fun little section on her site so that when you click these different, um, when you click on these different things, it will bring me to the feed on her blog post that only has blog posts underneath of that specific category. Okay. So that's what we are going to be working on right here. Now, one of the first things that I did is I went in and I, um, so on the, go into the menu and pages. So if you go to like the site menu and you click here onto the blog page, one of the very first things that I did that will bring up this page right here is after adding a blog page onto the site, I am going to edit the settings so that the categories are visible. So this is one of the first things that you want to make sure is on there. Okay, so let's see here. Layout display. Okay. So underneath of the, the display category here, it says category label. Now for the intents and purposes of this, what I had to do is number one, the site has to be live and published and you have to have the correct domain already connected. So for example, this is her website right here, megandillyaken.com. And this site is already live and published because I want to make sure that the URL that I'm going to be linking to is going to be like the actual URL, right? So if you don't publish your site first, what's going to happen is when you go to link these categories, it's going to bring you to that and all of these links aren't going to work. So number one, you have to make sure that your site is already connected to a domain. If you don't know how to do that, I have tutorials on that. Number two, you've added the blog, a blog to your, you know, to your page. And then number three, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have added, um, go, go into the settings on the blog page, click on display, and then check the category label. Now, the next thing that you'll have to do is actually add some categories. Okay. Now, personally, I would pick no more than a handful, because if you start getting too many categories and you've got like a hundred different things, people are going to be confused. So I want you to pick anywhere from six to maybe nine or 10 categories at the most. But personally, I think, you know, between around six is like a really good number of things and then figure out how you can group the rest of the posts underneath of those specific categories. Okay. Or maybe you're only going to have three categories, whatever works for you. So, um, once you have selected those categories, make sure that you add them to the blog. Now, the next thing that I did is you can see that I added a strip here and on top of the strip, I added repeaters. So I went in and I went add, um, I went down to the inter, I think it was the interactive. No, let me type it in. Cause I can't remember where I found this right now. Let's see repeaters. Maybe it was in the list section. Yep. Okay. So underneath of the lists section, there were repeaters. Um, I just use this one right here and then I took off all of the text and then I just added on a button. Okay. 
So that was the next thing that I did. I removed all the text. And when you're working with repeaters, whatever you do to one is what will be done to all. So if I add a button onto one, it adds them onto all. It's pretty neat. And then I kind of just changed the background. Now you could also have images behind here. That's a whole separate topic. You could do a lot of different things to customize the look of this. This is just how I set this up. Now, the very next thing that I wanna do is I want to go on the published version of the site. Okay, so this is her, you know, the live version of the site. I went to the blog. The blog is hidden from the menu. But if I type in the URL link, the direct link to get there, I can go there. So FYI, if you're ever like, oh, I want to, I don't want this to be visible on the live site, but I want to be working on this behind the scenes. All you have to do is just, un you can hide it from the menu. So that's what I did. So the blog is hidden from the menu right now. But as you can see, if I go into the SEO basics, this is the URL link. So whatever's behind that little slash mark will be your url.com slash, so in this case, it's blog. So, and her site is published, it's live. So now when I type that in directly, even though it's hidden from the menu, it's going to bring up this page for me. Now on this page, you can see that I have all of the categories listed, testimonies, personal story, product reviews, motivation, fitness and health and mental wellness. Those are the six main pillars of her brand. So now what I can do is I can go to my personal story. And when I click on this, what you'll see is this link up here, this one up here, my personal story. This is the category feed. So now any posts that I tag underneath of this category are now going to be visible on this specific feed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the site editor and I'm going to click on my personal story and I can go in and click web address. Okay. And we'll say current window and then done. Now we're going to get the link for the product reviews. So I'll click on product reviews, copy, and I'm going to go back and hit paste. Okay. So web address. Again, we're doing the web address, not a page, because this isn't a specific page on the website. It's going to a direct web address, and we'll do current window, done. Now we're gonna grab the one for motivation. So any posts that will be tagged under motivation will go here. Okay, you kind of like catching it. You're like, oh my God, this is so easy. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> it's really cool. And um, this is one thing that I, I feel like Wix, if you're watching, could really, really be stepped up um, I don't know. There's just a lot that you can do with blogs that I, I don't think that they have inherently like done like this, but that's why we're doing it here. Right. Okay. Mental wellness. Okay. So let's make sure that I'm grabbing that correct tab, mental wellness. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, web address, paste, current window done. And then we want to grab the testimonies tab. Okay, so testimonies, copy, and then we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna click the web address, paste, current window, done. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and click save. So now, now what this is, is this is allowing any of her visitors to browse by a topic, which is really cool. Um, I absolutely love this feature. And like I said, this is a really fun thing. So I can do background scroll effects. I could do a reveal. Uh, let me show you what that's gonna look like. So look at that. Isn't that fun? So now when people are going to her page, they're able to see this, you know, and it's just, it's really cool. So. Uh, and then on the repeater, all I did was I just changed the background color. So I went into the design. Um, no, I didn't. I lied. <laughs> I clicked change background and I just used the color palette that is her brand, as you can see. So I did the color pick eyedropper tool, which I have a whole tutorial on how to use this. I grabbed the specific colors from her brand and then I kind of just did an offshoot. You could also do images. On a repeater, you could do the, um, you, there's a lot. We can do like a whole separate tutorial on how to work with that. So now the last thing that I wanna do is um, 
want to go check it out. So we're going to go ahead and click on publish. And then when we go to the blog, let's go ahead and go there. So we'll just delete that and go directly to the blog. So now when it takes us to the blog, this is what it looks like. And it's going to be able to be browsed by specific categories. So we'll go with my personal story. And there we go. It brings up all of the posts in the personal story tab, which is so cool. Isn't that fun? It's really fun. So hopefully you all will absolutely love this. Um, and as you can see, I always, always, always recommend putting some kind of a lead magnet or a lead capture or the next step at the bottom of your blog page. So that's exactly what we did right here. Like, hey, do you wanna work with me? Tell me more. So that's what we have going on at the bottom of the blog. So that's it. That's really how we you can um, customize a browse by topic feature and link to specific categories on a blog on Wix. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, and if you happen to be watching this here on YouTube, go ahead, give the video a thumbs up and also remember to click subscribe. I do lots of um, tutorials and marketing tips and tech stuff like that here on the channel. And you can also, if you would like, I do have a 100% free resource. It's called my business resource vault, where everything I use and recommend for business is kept in one place and you can get some of the best discounts out there. So if you're, you know, if you'd like to check that out, please be my guest and thanks so much. And I will see you in the next video.